Welcome to South Halston River Fly Shop Fly Tying Videos. I'm your host, Josh McFadden. This is episode number four. Today we're going to be tying Rod Simple Cripple, but we're going to be tying it in the sulfur version. We're going to be using a TMC 100 in a size 18. We're also going to be using a dot yellow uni thread, a sulfur orange biot, and Trout Hunter CDC Natural Dark Done for the wing. Let's get to time. Alright, this is the sulfur version of the Simple Cripple. This is a number 18 TMC 100 mounted in the vise. Got my yellow ADOT thread. I'm going to start from behind the, the eye, put a base layer down, come down to just above where the barb would be. Trim off the excess thread. Now I'm going to run back up to where the eye is. And I've already taken the time to, to V out two CDC feathers. Uh, these are in uh, natural dark dun color. What you want to do after you've taken the tip out of the feather is stroke both of these feathers. They're, I've got them pressed together here. It kind of looks like one, but it's two. Stroke the feathers forward so that uh, you'll see kind of a, a V get formed here. This is where we're, how we're going to tie this in. I'm going to come up right behind the eye and start with a couple of few wraps of thread back here behind the eye, a few loose wraps. We're going to pull the CDC until we get it the length that we want. And uh, it doesn't really take a whole lot. Make a few wraps there and trim it off. That'll be just fine. Just plenty, just enough to represent a cripple. After all, this fly is not flying away anytime soon. It's going to get eaten. <laughs> Run the thread back to the back and tie on your sulfur orange biot. Again, you could use super fine dubbing here if you wanted to. and uh, I, I kind of like the way that this, this biot looks. Tie that down there, build up a good thread base and come back up here from to behind the wing. Now I'm gonna, gonna hold this this biot and kinda hold my thread out of the way and uh, wind it forward. You'll see it's gonna give us a nice segmentation. There this time of year there's uh, believe it or not there's still sulfurs on the water and uh, it's been hard to believe. It's been an amazing year for sulfurs for the sulfur hatch, and uh, so they they do know what one looks like now, and uh, so we're having to show them these cripple patterns. And um, we find that the the better fish, and by better fish I mean 16 plus inch fish, um, they're more apt to take a cripple. It seems like the maybe the smaller fish sometimes aren't even really sure what a cripple is, but um, the better fish, I'm gonna go ahead and whip finish, the better fish, um, they know that a cripple is an easy target, and so um, they do get eaten. And a lot of times they're not, it's not a real splashy take, it's just a real subtle Real subtle take, and if you wanted to, you could uh, you could trim this wing back. I want it to be about the length of the shank. And uh, again, when you're fishing fishing these simple cripple flies, what you want to do is after the fly gets gunked up, you want to make sure that you're pinching the the abdomen of the fly and the thorax, and just brush your frog's fanny over this wing to get it fluffed back up the way that it ought to be. And um, that's the simple cripple in the sulfur variation. Happy time.